What do I tell you, my Danny's Blu-ray King, sitting around at the house, pumping up for Batman vs. Superman. I got my Superman shirt on today. I'm not really a big fan of Superman, though. I'm more of a Batman fan, because, you know, I look at it like this. How can you be Superman? You have all these powers, and you get your ass kicked by Batman. Even if it's one time out of a hundred times, that one time is enough. Superman's a sucker for me. You know, when I was a kid, it was more of a Batman boom. The Superman boom had just ended. Christopher Reeve got in his accident when I was probably about six or seven. So there was no more Superman movies. We were focused on Batman. We had Batman the Animated Series. We had Batman vs. Spawn in the comics. So I'm all about Batman. And I'm definitely all amped up about Batman vs. Superman right now. <laughs> Seriously, I'm, a, I'm definitely excited about Batman and Superman. No, I'm, I'm serious. So anyways, I got a little stack of movies here that I think are essential to what you should probably watch before you go see Batman v Superman this weekend. The first one I got for you is Justice League War. Essentially what this is, they're rebooting the entire Justice League universe with this film. So it even starts out with Batman and Green Lantern is following Batman around and he's amazed because Batman is real. None of the Justice League has met. So they finally come together. Batman is actually hunting down Superman. Very much how the trailers are showing the direction that the movie is going to go. So they all come together. They have to defeat Darkseid. You got Cyborg. Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, and Shazam. All characters that DC plans on introducing. So if you want to get affiliated, get acquainted with some people, go ahead, pop this in. Maybe this is the direction that they're going. All right, then next up, I got Batman Under the Red Hood. Now in one of the trailers, there's a scene where it appears to be like a knock on Robin's death. If you guys are extensive with Batman, you'll know that Jason Todd, one of the Robins, I think he dies in the comics. Something happens to him. Joker kills him. Or they think he kills him. Something happens to him and, and, and he's not really dead. He gets real fucked up in the head and he turns into the Red Hood where he essentially just goes around killing people. So this goes into depth with the Red Hood and the Jason Todd character which would give you some insight on his character if they were to go ahead and introduce him in any upcoming movie. And one that I definitely think is essential to watch leading up to this movie is Batman The Dark Knight Returns. Part one and part two. Go ahead and give both of these a watch. This is essentially the story of Batman when he's an old man. Batman's been retired for a while. Harvey Dent comes back. He thinks he's two-faced or he actually thinks he's full face for some reason. It's like some kind of psychotic episode where he thinks his whole face is fucked up but actually his whole face is fine. So he plans on blowing shit up. Batman comes out of retirement. Then later on in the movie, we see that Joker is in some insane asylum. And as soon as he sees the Batman back on the loose, he decides it's time for him to come out of retirement, get on a talk show, and kill a bunch of people on live TV. And now this is the story of what the Batman of the DC Universe is based on. He's based on Frank Miller's Batman, which is this dark gritty Batman. He's actually kind of chunky in here. Like it's all just relaxed muscle. Whereas in the movie you kind of just got like a beefed up Batman which you know you, I can understand. You don't need to see him old and flabby. But I was temporarily disturbed when one of my homegirls thought she could come over here and harass my whole life about borrowing some movies. So I let her go ahead and borrow some movies. I said you want to watch The Amazing Spider-Man 2? Go ahead. You can watch The Amazing Spider-Man 2. But you also have to watch Solo. So I made her watch Solo. Then going through her Snapchat story Man, she was not prepared for it. So we're going to move on to the last movie, Man of Steel. Now, I know they're saying Batman vs. Superman is not a sequel to Man of Steel. Come on, let's be serious. It's a fucking sequel. It takes place after Man of Steel, and Batman vs. Superman is based on the events in Man of Steel. So it's definitely essential that you sit down and watch this. That's what I was able to sit down and watch here that's all I got for you guys on this edition of Blu-ray and Chill. If you guys are going to see Batman v Superman this weekend, let me know down in the comments what you're most excited to see in the movie. And until the next time I see you, stay true!
and stay blue. Oh my dear. I'll make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight.